Hello everyone and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. In the last session we hopped in as Natsuno and we went to the lab with BJ and we actually discovered the location of the Sentinel that he's been searching for for like the whole time. <laughs> so that's cool but it to be continued us before we actually reached it so I'm tempted to go back in as her. What are we looking at with everyone else? Oh, you can be unlocked now. Okie doke. Nice, nice. You cannot. Although we're probably actually... A lot of people are in the 70s now. We're getting fairly close to you. Can't do you until we do Juro. You can be unlocked as well. We need to do a Yuki event for you. Okie doke. Okie doke. We've been neglecting you two a little bit. You're low 60s. Okay, so let us jump in as... Tommy. A Sekigahara who knows a way back to 1985 rescue, rescued Tommy Kisaragi and Nenji Ogata from an android attack. Ah yes, the Great Hole one. We've spent a lot of time in uh, in 2025 as Tommy. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Stranded day three. Miwako, Usami-chan. Sir. Did you find Shinonomi, senpai? In a word, yes, but... She ran off somewhere near the school. Guy named Sekigahara's looking for her right now. Uh, who's that? The only other guy we've seen here besides us. Ah, is that when... Didn't Sekigahara, when we were playing Iori, wasn't Iori in the spaceship and Sekigahara chased Ryoko in, I think? I, I guess that probably is happening simultaneously to this then, maybe? Anyway, it seems like we've got a way home. To 1985? Really? Really. We came here to get you. You ready? I yeah. Hard to say if we can trust this Sekigahara guy. But let's hurry. Hold on. So, is this a new timeline? Yeah, this is a new timeline. Okay. Stick with me, okay? Let's head to the school. Stick with me, kid. There's a huge crater by the school. That's where we're going. Oh, really? Really? Oh, hello. Is this that robot you were talking about? That's weird. Wasn't there more than one android here? Now that you mention it, yeah. Ryoko-san. Ah, oh, maybe. So you still don't remember? Maybe not. They're taking advantage of your hazy memory. Stop this. Get him. 426, your time is up. <laughs> what did... What did Ryoko Are expect to happen there? there? Like, <laughs> I have this gun that one-shots androids. Get him. Android slowly starts walking towards him. Shinonome-senpai can control the androids? She's being manipulated by the one in charge of them. We need to go after her. It's gotta be if she seals off the gate, Tetsuya it's either, over. right? Tetsuya's gotta be the one manipulating her, because she'd do anything for him. I feel like. She wouldn't be easily manipulated by anyone else, would she? What's the report? Identified evidence of activity. A human likely utilized a crane to descend. Sounds like Ryoko-san's gone ahead. Secure the crane. Don't let her lock it up. So, how are we supposed to get down there? 
isn't it really deep? 300 meters. That quadruped's got a crane equipped. A crane? That does sound like construction equipment. It sure we'll does. Use it like an elevator. It'll take us all the way to the bottom. What about your friends? Hmm? What about them? You coming, folks? What's on your mind? That guy just now. Are you sure he's safe to be around? He has a gun. Yeah. We don't have much of a choice. Let's go. Wait for us! Never mind, this isn't what I thought it was. What in the fresh hell is this? <laughs> Aiken. You recognize me? Why am I here? Why are you here? Looks like you got some memories back. Do you have your pills? Not anymore. I'm all out. Hang on a little longer. We need to get back to 1985. Miura, help me out. The pills are in Sector 4. Hmm. This is too much for me. You gonna be okay? I'm not good with heights. I didn't realize just how deep it was until we were right there. I thought I was going to die. Look, the same kind of gadgets we saw in that dead kaiju. They're all over the damn place. Almost like we're in the belly of the boss. <sighs> Looks like something out of a movie set. Is she okay? She will be. I was worried for a moment. But she seems to be fine for now. What happened to her? Is she ill? An incident occurred during our fight in the Sentinels. From that point on, we began having memory issues. Unfortunately, someone's been taking advantage of that. Her condition is far more serious than mine. She can't prevent it. In any case, Looks like we can travel to 1985 without issue. It'll be ready soon. Just wait here for a moment. I. Can I talk to anyone else? Oh. Usami-chan? The way we came in is completely dark. I never want to do that again. <laughs> well, don't worry. We're probably time-traveling out of here, I would we'll imagine. Soon. This machine... Is Morimura using it too? She's the reason we're able to use it at all. This functionality was her handiwork. What is this? What could this be? Off the radar after that incident I mentioned. 
What did you do? How did you make contact? All I did was poke this thing. Can I poke it again? It's weird that it shows up through my body. <laughs> that voice from the TV screen. Didn't it kind of sound like you? You think so? Hey, just now. Did you call that person Kisaragi? Kisaragi is. The control system for Sentinel number 16. Why do we have the same name? Because. He is you. Rather. A different you. Huh? I get it now. Tell me, Kisaragi. It's your biometric ID. The line of communication opened due to her ID being authenticated. Give it another try. Huh? Oh. Kisaragi, please respond. If you're there, answer us. What does that mean? This place is not recognized in any era. This is bad. I'm being denied access to all sectors. It's universal control. It's trying to get rid of me. At this rate, I'll... Which to do? One of these will probably progress the story and lock out the other one. I don't know. I don't know which to do. What's this universal thing? Universal control. It's here, where the primary gate is housed. This underground mainframe monitors the world. Her location. It appears the mainframe does not want us to know. Looks that way. Hmm. Yeah, pick try. Good. It just closes right away now. Uh. This is bad. The androids are coming. Shit, they're over here too. You still got that gun, eh? Stop. The command's not working. I'm out of ammo. Ah, shit. Time to time travel. We need to shift. Gather close. Now! Initiating shift. Uh, where's Miwako? Miwako didn't shift with us? She was there when we left, wasn't she? I'm pretty sure we were all in the thing. Where's, where's she gone? I know this shrine. It's by the school. Sweet. You hear that, Miwako? We're almost home. Uh, Miwako? Shit. We're missing Miwako. What? Wasn't she right next to you? Miwako! Not good. We must have left her behind. Let's go back. It's no use. She's not like us. What do you mean? The people here, everyone in the city, we're all managed by that computer underground. Isn't that right, Akun? Mm. To make sure no one impacts this world. To make sure no one finds out the truth. Universal control pulls the strings. 
Behind the scenes, it handles our lives as it sees fit. It must have determined that she was an inconvenience to this world. She knew too much. What? <laughs> what? What was that supposed to mean? It just like deleted her? Is that what that's saying? Feels bad. Take a look at the mystery files. The gate. The gates are available for use because Morimura brought them online. I think we already knew that. Houses a giant infrastructural control system constructed with 2188 technology called Universal Control. Universal Control is the underground mainframe. The town residents are all controlled by Universal Control, which sometimes adjusts the residents' memories or situations and twists the truth in order to eliminate any possible inconsistencies in the world. A giant disc-shaped disc structure with a diameter of 30 kilometers, 300 meters below Ashitaba City. The center device of the terminal is used to authenticate biometric IDs required when shifting to other sectors or accessing personal logs. And that's it. Okie doke. Okie doke. Well, poor Miwako. Back into destruction we go. Battle 9 of the second area. Modified shield Apsos Kaiju will appear. Well, that is not good. I wonder what the modification will be. Whether it's just they'll be blue now, which means they just have, like, higher defense or whatever. Or whether it's... Because it can't be like their shields are stronger because their shields negate all damage anyway. So I'm not sure what an upgrade would be. It's probably just they're all blue. And there's probably a bunch of them. Gonna have to specifically target them, I guess. Uh... First and second gen only on the strike team, including Shinonome and Sekigahara, which we have all six available for. So let us go. Normal victory and loss conditions? Thanks. Here we go. Can't mess this up. Okay. Sentry guns, as usual. Is there anyone else coming in, or is it just up there to begin with? Uh, looks like just up there to begin with. Oh, also, we're, we've got our backs against this wall, so we've only got this, this half to worry about, which is quite nice. It's always, always better to have your backs against a wall in this game so that you can focus all your attacks, like, in one direction. Well, I mean, more than one direction, but you know what I mean. It's better if you're in a corner, because then you've only got, like, a small a small bit, but, yeah. Better than better than being right in the middle. Let's pop that down. We can do this. Right? Pop that Let down. Uh, you won't have one, will you? No. Don't you won't have one? No. Try. No. Do you? Like yeah, you do. What was this again? Ah, two sentry guns to be placed, but yours costs 400. Right, okay. I'll put yours over here then, because we'll probably have a lot dropping in over this side. I would guess. Need help. 
Oh, I places them right next to each other. Okay. Don't waste any chances. I thought you'd be able to place two individually, so that's not as good as I hoped. But I mean, it's still double firepower, but it means that they could both be taken out, like together. Whereas, and you can't cover as much ground. Like I thought I'd be able to place one here and then one over here, kind of thing, you know. Uh, right now we wait, I guess, until these guys My land. Now. Okay, what have we got? Whole lot of flight stuff. <laughs> uh, is there anything... Oh, I can't even rush that far. Do you have any Apsos? Like it said we'd see Apsos. Is that an Apsos at the back there? I think... Somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Let's move you over here. Oh, there's more at the back. Uh oh. Man, they've got new Absos models out too. If we don't stomp them out quick, they're gonna be a real pain in the butt. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, there's, we're going to be using our uh, Metagage EMPs here, is what I'm thinking. With a whole bunch of things dropping in, like, pretty close. I wonder if the EMP works through the shield, though, thinking about it. Oh, man. <laughs> Imagine. Get fucked, yo. I don't think so. Oh shit, that went behind them? Oh, I didn't expect that. That's not good. Why do I not have tackle on you? I should have got tackle. Uh, fuck. I mean, I could do that. It's probably actually a good idea. Considering how close they're getting. Oh shit, you're pretty close, huh? So are you, though. Okay, so these are all on the ground now. So it does work, the MP does work through the shield, which is good. That's the that's the downside. Okay. Um Got drum mines as well. Okay. Probably this. Good. Damn it. Just too far. Well, I could start moving him towards this side, I guess. How's the sentinel? Finish off these ones. They're too far away. They're too far away. How much does this cost again? 150. Yeah, that's fine. Die already. Got him. There he goes. I'll stop them. I guess life comes at you fast. Is that going to be enough to kill it? Hopefully. 
Yeah. My turn now. You're done. Good. Next. Okay, have we got any coming in close? Oh shit, there's been a whole new batch there. Okay, okay. These are going to be annoying. We're probably going to need to EMP when they get close. Got another couple of Apsos back here. Unfortunately, that doesn't reach as far as I want it to. Can we leap attack over there? No. I think our best bet would probably be because we can't catch all of these right now. Okay. What now? Let's move him towards them a little. Number 10, moving out. I'll make it work. And then we're gonna EMP them when he's right in front of them. How far can you run with tackle? Can I make it over to these things? No. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Number 12, Can't moving up. EMP the fuck out of all of you. Oh, we're gonna miss some shit. We we got a little bit too close. Sure. No sentry guns for you. So. that or that. Probably that, right? Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Nice. We can get a nice fat double sentry down for you. Just pop you right about here. And hopefully hit stuff at all angles then. Nice, nice. Let's go, let's go. Oh shit, that's a gladiator. Oh, I hadn't even realized. Oh, and is there a gladiator up here somewhere too? Yeah. I was like, huh, they're not taking much damage. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. We did get the Apsos. Oh man, we've got a couple of gladiators actually. Okay, let's uh... Let's scoot up behind you. Oh, spicy damage. Love the spicy damage. Is there anyone that's about to get hurt by this? Only my turrets, it looks like. Uh, Man, you really are taking a while to get over there, huh? Turns out I can just do it myself. Okay, we've pretty much got everyone on this side done. Do you have an EMP? You do have an EMP. We can EMP all of that shit. Let's do that. Then we'll take our boys over to them. Uh, let's demolish you in the back. 
move a little out of the way of the missiles. Man, I, that is some crazy damage there. Love to see it. No sentry for you. A little bit of that. We go this way. Shit. <laughs> Just too far. Uh, is there any... There we go. <laughs> Although that's just a rush. It's armoured, right? Oh no, Tarot Carrier's not armoured. Oh. Well, in that case... Comes the boom, ready or not. Man, that's such a pretty sight. <laughs> There's really no way to get behind you. That kind of blows. The only path up is through him, and then you can't. Hmm. Guess I'll just leap behind him. Time. It can't be that long left. 
Well, what what does well mean? Wow. I won't lose to the kaiju. Come on, come on for Nenji and Lone Wolf for Hijiyama and never again for Juro. And not dead yet for Ryoko. Okay. Ryoko got so much more damage than everyone else. I guess those double turrets were putting in the work, huh? Shing! Arm mounted pulse lasers. Bomb bomb. Bonus objective complete. Communication device. One, a two, a three, a four, five, six. Six mystery points acquired. Final wave of area two next up. Amaguchi on the strike team. That is fine. Clear without a sentinel being immobilized. They don't usually get immobilized, so that should be good. And a terminal defense rate of 70%. It has never dropped that low ever, so hopefully, hopefully, all will be well. Um... Now the question is, of course, who do we take? Nenji was putting in some serious work there. So I'm thinking we keep him. I don't want to overload... I don't know. What did it say was coming? Enhanced long-range twin-tail kaiju will appear. Okay. Let's take you off. Let's keep you on so we have at least one Gen 2. Uh, obviously, Amaguchi's in. Someone's gotta do it. And then three more. Who do we want? Who do we want? Let's go. Take you for your missile rain. Moving out. Could do that. I'll participate. Take you for your interceptors. Does Shu have interceptors? Can Shu have interceptors? You can have interceptors. Let's give you interceptors. And then let's upgrade the fuck out of them. Because they are good. So good. So very, very good. Um, your other ship probably needs some upgrades too, huh? Sure, there you go. Now you're a real boy. Uh, what pilot information did we get? We saw that one. Uh, you weren't on... The, it, was all, it was all Gen 1 and 2s, right? So... Uh, not dead yet. Defense increases when HP decreases. After defending, HP recovers for self and allies. Attack increases when terminal defense rate is 40% or below. Well, that never happens. Uh, we already had CQC specialists, I think. Less members on the strike team, the higher attack increases. And rush attack power increases whenever the attack hits a kaiju. Huh. So each successive punch does more damage than the last? Let's upgrade that then. <laughs> Very nice. The leap attack's kind of shit, so I won't be using it unless in very specific situations, like when I need to jump over someone, like the previous one. Do we want to do that? Increases its range and number of attacks. How many attacks does it do right now? 46. 95 damage 46 times. 
costs 150 more, so it costs 300. And you have 630, so you'd only be able to do two attacks. I don't know if that's worth it, honestly. I mean, it depends how much it adds, you know? Alright, let's see how much it adds. So currently, Demolish Blade 95 times 46. We add that. And now Demolisher Blade does... Wait, it still says 95 times 46. Does it just not tell you how much it enhances it by? Seems weird. Well, I guess we'll try it. Why not? I could... You know what? I'm thinking of replacing tackle with... Replacing leap attack with tackle. Anti-air defensive flares could be nice, but I mean your EMP is essentially the same thing, but it... The anti-air defensive flares actually take down the things flying through, but if they don't, then they keep coming. Whereas the EMP, like, actually stops them in the tracks, but doesn't deal damage. So that's the trade-off. The flares deal damage, I'm pretty sure. It just says obstructing, but I swear it does deal damage. I think let's replace leap attack with tackle because it gives you so much range and you can go through stuff uh, why not level 5 there we go Okay, so we have six. Is that our final team? Nenji, Ryoko, Natsuno, Kaitaro, Megumi, and Shu. I'm thinking that's pretty good. Most of them will over... Well, not most. Half of them will overload at the end of this. Half of them overloaded last time as well. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's pretty good. We've got interceptors on both of you. What are your interceptors at? Plus five. Good, good. Okay. Cool. I think I'm happy with that. So, now let's check out the... Oh, it's a, the boss one as well. I mean, the previous one didn't really feel like a boss fight, per se. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, anyway... Mystery Files! A transceiver used by the men in black suits. Its range is comparatively limited at 1.2 kilometers. Wow, thank you. Wow, very detailed. Arm-mounted pulse lasers. Fourth generation Sentinel armament shoots laser beams from both arms intermittently. To make the intervals between each burst shorter, it sacrifices some precision. But since it can fire many lasers in a wide area, it's often used to keep enemy forces in check. Fourth generation units are the only sentinels capable of using laser weapons, the arm mounted pulse lasers being one of them. Wait, did we just unlock this? Why did we just unlock information about something that can only be used by fourth generation sentinels on a mission where we could only use first and second generation sentinels? That seems weird. Anything else? Nope, nothing else. Okay, we've got six points to spend and. Not that many things left to unlock, honestly. So let's just go down here. A high school located in the center of Ashitaba City. Each grade consists of five classes ranging from A to E. There's a total of 512 students at the school. It's a comprehensive junior and senior high school and their policy requires all students to wear uniforms. The gate used by everyone affiliated with Sakura High School. If you face the campus, on the left side is the baseball field, behind it is the athletics building, on the right is the new school building, and behind that is the old school building. Speaking of the new one, a four-storied ferro-concrete school building, I don't know what ferro-concrete is, that was completed in the spring of 85. The shiny linoleum of the hallway reflects a lot of sunlight, bringing about a much brighter atmosphere compared to the old school building. Most students are happy that they no longer have to deal with the creaking floors, but there are some students who miss the wooden smell of the old building. The dining area. On the first floor of Sakura High School's South Building, there's a school store that sells bread and bento for cheaper than market price. The most popular item is their yakisoba pan. Second place is the mayonnaise chicken bento, and third is their sandwich. Nurse's office. A school facility where students receive consultation, guidance, and treatment for injuries and illnesses. 
There are three male students who show up here every day just to see the school nurse, Ms. Morimura. I wonder why. And the science room, a school facility where students run chemistry experiments. Due to rumours that, that point to paranormal phenomena, like someone hearing voices from the science room when no one's inside, or someone from the field outside seeing a creepy white flash of light from inside the dark room, it is considered one of the seven wonders of the school. Sure. There is a gate inside the science room which allows one to travel to another era. Since the student who witnessed the gate being used caused a stir, Morimura and the others started the rumour about it being a paranormal phenomenon so students would stop going to the room so often. Nice. How many do we have left to unlock? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's only 11 things left to unlock in total and we're getting like 6 points per thing. So if it was just those we'd unlock them all in the next two battles but it'll probably we'll add a couple more so i imagine in three battles time we'll probably be maxed out on anything we can unlock for the moment right tommy is now locked until we beat wave 10 okay interesting interesting so i think it's time to jump to nenji after nenji ogata pressured sukasa okino who is the identity of the mysterious voice everything suddenly changed and ogata found himself strapped to a chair in okino's hideout Yes. And we've also... Yeah, we, we we know all those. Okie doke. Let's see. Are we back in the time loop now or not? Let's go. I hate 